Let's create photos of a consistent character with different backgrounds, facial expressions, and camera effects in mid-journey. We'll start by using a set of reference images as a base for our character's appearance. To get started, use the prompt, portrait photo of a woman, dark hair and green eyes, pale skin, white shirt, outdoors, natural lighting, Kodak Portra 160, split into two images shot from multiple angles. The most important part of the prompt is split into two images since we'll need multiple reference photos for our character. Also, make sure to use the 2 to 1 aspect ratio. The character description should be detailed with specifics like hair, skin, and eye colors. The more descriptive you are in your prompt, the more clues Midjourney has to generate your characters. We can already start playing around with different facial expressions. First, use the slash settings command to bring up the settings menu and make sure you have remix mode turned on. Let's use the very region tool to inpaint one of the two images with a different facial expression. Using the lasso tool, I'll select the silhouette of the woman in the image on the right where we'll inpaint and change the facial expression. Inside the prompt box below, I'll ask for a sad and somber expression after the character description. Midjourney uses clues about the subject's facial features from the photo on the left to fill in the photo on the right with the same facial features but a different expression. We can do this with other expressions like happy and smiling, shocked and surprised, or crying. We'll come back to expressions later. If we want to put our character in different environments, we'll need some more reference photos. Use the very strum button to generate variations of the woman. Do this a bunch of different times so you have a variety of different images to choose from. The Vary button generates some images with a strong resemblance to our character, but also generates some images with slightly different facial features. It's up to you to choose a set of reference photos that look as similar as possible. When you have the reference photos picked, use any image cropping tool to crop out the individual square photos. I just use the built-in snipping tool for Windows 11. I'd recommend getting a total of 5 reference photos. To use our references, start by uploading the cropped photos into Midjourney with drag and drop. We can copy our reference links into the prompt anytime we want to reference our character. But it's pretty tedious to copy each individual link over and over again. So let's use the prefer option set command, which stores the reference links and makes them easily accessible. Type slash prefer option set into the direct message. In the option box, type the name of the character. I'll use Anne. Click on plus one more and select the value option. Inside the value box, copy and paste the links for all of the reference character photos. Make sure you leave a space in between each of the links. Now we can easily ask Midjourney to refer to all five of the character photos anytime we need by simply using the keyword and. Let's hold on to that and generate some different environments to put our character into. Wide angle lens, photo of a woman, dark red hair and green eyes, pale skin, in New York City, natural lighting, Kodak Portra 160. When generating a custom environment to put our character in, it's important to use a similar description of the character as we used previously. The person in the photo won't look the same, but it'll help with the inpainting. Once again, we'll use a very region inpainting tool to inject our character and into the image. First, use the lasso tool to select the silhouette of the woman in the image. Remember how we saved the image links under the keyword Anne? All we have to do is type dash dash Anne into the prompt, and Midjourney will use all of the five reference character photos that we uploaded to do the inpainting. Go ahead and submit the very region tool. And there we go, our character is successfully injected into the image. You may need to reroll the inpainting a couple of times to get something that's close enough to your character. Customizing the facial expressions is easy. All we have to do is slightly change the prompt of the very region tool. With the character silhouette selected and dash dash and added to the start of the prompt, adding a description of the expression you want near the start of your prompt. Now when we generate the image, the facial expression has changed. Midjourney is really powerful at generating these expressions. You can try happy and smiling, surprised and shocked, and other expressions you can think of. There's camera and photo effects that can be added in addition to the facial expressions. Photo of a woman, dark red hair and green eyes, pale skin, light through the window, shadows on face. We can actually inject our character into this image environment with shadows on her face. 
using the exact same process of selecting the inpainting region and adding a character reference dash dash and to the prompt. We can also switch up the color palettes of the photos if we want to get different cinematic effects. Photo of a woman, desaturated and dark colors, dark red hair and green eyes, pale skin, outdoors, polaroid. Let's inject our character Anne into the photo with darker and desaturated colors. Here's another character I played around with. I created different facial expressions and also added color grading and photo effects like super saturated colors or dimmer and more cinematic look. To capture more of the surrounding environment, we'll get a larger shot with more of your character's body. You can use the pan and zoom features in Midjourney to pull the camera back. Now that you've learned how to generate consistent character portraits, go take a look at my guide on cinematic prompting in Midjourney to learn how to customize prompts to put your characters into. Also make sure to subscribe for more like this.